Let's see my toy room. I turned one of my spare bedrooms into an ex outrageously expensive shrine to my youth. I started this, I don't know, right around COVID. I guess when the rest of the world did too, because everything is skyrocketed in price. Uh, I, I come in this room to forget that I'm a grown up, that I pay taxes, a mortgage, have employees, have grown kids, and just try to escape uh, to my youth. Uh, I, I can't believe how much money is invested in this room. Um, I, I lean towards Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Masters of the Universe. And thankfully those three uh, companies have all started making things to have me spend my money on. A lot of the things I purchase are either ref refurbished, re-released, or um, when I miss things in the early 2000s because I had little kids and a career, which is still a career, um, so now I'm paying a tremendous amount of money for them. This is the transformer wall. If only I could come back to this room at age nine, I would lose my mind. I think there's a lot of other people like me from what I can tell on YouTube. I mean, look how look how cool new Optimus Prime is compared to old Optimus Prime. The comic books behind there are all comic books I collected as a kid. I still held on to those. A little Star Trek. Not my usual, but I, I like those two guys. But I mean, how cool is it that all of this stuff is being made for me to spend money on? And then the the Titans, I tell you what, anybody who doesn't have that Unicrom, I know he doesn't compare to the, the other big ass Transformers. He is the coolest thing that has ever been made with a Transformer label on it. <laughs> Unlike that guy, I just got him. Uh, Metroplex, a new one. Oh, come on, Hasbro, what the hell? I mean, I bought him, but Jesus Christ, that was well done. <laughs> But I love the Titans. Titan class, whatever the hell they're called. Love all this stuff. Um, I, did, I said I wouldn't buy these, but I'll be damned if they weren't cool enough, I started buying them. Well, I made a money. Masters of the Universe. Lots of Masters of the Universe. Love what Mattel's doing. All those guys are just awesome. That Castle Grey Skull cost me a fortune. I didn't catch it when it was new, so I think it was eight hundred and fifty dollars, just like Metroplex was in that neighborhood too. There's that castle, the new Castle Grey Skull, not the newest one, the one that was made for grown-ups, next to my um, scratch-built Terra drum. So there's scale. More masters. I bought all the Master Universe minus um, Orko and uh, the Princess of Power. I, 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 I don't want the Princess of Power. There's the planes that I've got. All with drivers, some vintage. That one's vintage, that one, that one was expensive. I won that on eBay. Uh, there's scratch belt mixed with Vintage. The bug is something I'm very proud of. I've got the driver with the gun. Apparently that made it more expensive. That stupid gun I could give a shit about. Love these guys. Again, missed it because I had kids. And I was completely out of this at the time. You know, little kids. But I love these guys. The retro I love the retro. All this retro stuff they're doing. That hiss is my original hiss. It was a mail away with uh, flag points. These are all, of course, hisses. That hiss is scratch built. That hiss is scratch built. That cat too is scratch built. That is a hunk of crap, Mobat. I just, uh, 
I, I tend to find these characters, these vehicles, without drivers. <laughs> so I've got to spend more to buy the drivers later. The only Star Wars stuff I have, I, I, I just can't, I don't have room for Star Wars. I don't really care about Star Wars. Star Wars is just, just Disney's bitch now, and it's an embarrassment to watch, and I don't want to see any more woke shit from Disney. So that's the only Star Wars stuff I have. That was a recent buy. That's my scratch bill, better version. You know, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are doing the same thing I'm doing, and I think that's cool. It's it's fun to revisit to revisit the youth. You know, being a grown-up is a pain in the ass. And I, I'll come in here and I typically don't have this folded down. I usually have it in, in couch form. <laughs> couch mode if there was a transformer. But it's just great to escape to a place that is from a time when there was no stress. Man, summer vacations and just playing with toys. Oh, it's just the best. I, I, I miss it and I think a lot of other people miss it too. I hope you guys enjoyed what should be a much bigger room. I'm going to have to put this in a bigger room in my house, I think. Oh, and I'm going through this crap right now. These are guys I got at the flea market. So I'm going through them, seeing what to do with them. It's 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 a great hobby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it probably for a while to come now. Thanks for watching, guys.